Guys, it's Shot765 Gaming here, and I'm here with the Mod Review today, and I'm probably going to be doing videos every Friday night or over the weekend, as I, do, I don't have any time over the week, sadly. So uh, today, I'm going to be doing a mod review on Balkan's Weapon Mod, and I have a surprise to show you at the end. It's a really cool texture pack, but I'll get to that later, so um. Let's start off. This mod adds a bunch of different weapons, as you can see down here. And I'll be showing them all in detail against different mobs and how to craft them. So uh, let me just get ready to go. So here we go. The first weapon are spears. The first weapons are spears. And you craft them with any block of your choice, uh, like wood, stone, iron, gold, or diamond and pretty much all these weapons have them and if you see like one of every kind down here then that means you can craft it with any of those blocks and then two sticks like that and let's take an iron spear just to test what it does this is a melee weapon or melee however you pronounce it and it takes about uh, two hits to kill a cow two hits to kill a pig if only I was <laughs> creative then he wouldn't have run away so uh, let me put that back. So that, those are the spears. They're pretty powerful. Uh, yeah. So um, actually, since our guests have moved along, let's kill this cow. It's still two hits for a cow. So they're uh, pretty strong, but not super strong. And uh, let me fix this up real quick. So um, we've had some accidents already. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, I need pigs. And I need cows, just in case they ever get away. I mean, I could do zombies, but that comes later. So, the spear is a really useful tool. And if you want to get a good, I don't know, go hunting and feel all old school. So next up is the halberds. And it's crafted with any tool like that. In an almost arrow-like fashion. Just the way it's pointing. And take these. And let's, let's go kill this cow. So it takes two hits to kill a cow. One hit to kill a pig. But with a diamond, it's one hit. So halberds are pretty powerful. And I'm not really sure how far away you can hit from. Because, I mean, halberds are long distance weapons. So it's about three block distance for damage, which is pretty good. And I uh, forgot to mention, but every gold, every single gold weapon has a little bit more knockback because if I like spawn a cow here and I take this and he knocks back a few blocks right but if I spawn a cow with the gold one he gets knocked back a little bit farther so that's what it means by the knockback obviously but uh alright so next up we've got knives and they're crafted with an iron ingot or whatever whichever uh, material you want to use and a stick next to it and these things are awesome because you can just right click and boom thrown except and then you can pick it up and it will come out of your inventory when you use it except i'm a creative so it takes about two hits with an iron knife to kill uh that was an inconclusive test uh two hits with the uh, diamond knife so if i just like chuck knives over there <laughs> it's raining nice so yeah, it's a pretty useful tool. And you can just run by and pick them back up. I think it takes two. No, two, three. Three hits to kill. So it's pretty useful, long-range tool. And, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Here, let's test this. Okay. So if I go game mode zero, change my game mode, I'm pretty sure once you throw it, you have to go pick it up. Yeah, and then its durability will be lower every time you throw it. So, uh, yeah that's pretty awesome and the sun is rising which is good and our next weapon of choice is the battle axe which is crafted like this it requires five iron ingots and two sticks and i don't really need to show you guys the wood stone or golden versions but i'll show you the iron and the diamond so it's one hit kill which is amazing on a pig one hit kill bam it's crazy so let's come over here to slime one hit kill it's, it's pretty awesome so uh, just imagine how much damage it does on a zombie. It's just crazy. So next we have a Warhammer. And the Warhammer has a really high damage. And it's like it's crafted like that. Four materials of your choice and sticks. 
And apparently it can also do a lot of damage to uh, the ground, so we're gonna switch back to my uh, survival mode and see what happens. And you can charge it up by holding right click. So yeah, let's see, it's, uh, it's two hits kill with that, one hit with that. Let's spawn the cow in here. One hit, okay, and then supercharging it, I guess you go like that. And apparently it will uh, hurt mobs, all the mobs around it, if you supercharge it. And I'll be right back. Like that, that was pretty awesome, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, uh, sorry about that, I'm back, I had to go move something. And, well specifically a tire, but I, it was in the way and my dad was doing something outside, so... Uh, yeah, so basically what happens, all the mobs around get hurt when you, uh, supercharge this. Like so, and now I'm stuck. So, when you supercharge this, those mobs will die, and so will these mobs. It just does, like, epic devastation to them. Just, it's just amazing. Anyway, so apparently this will mine through things really fast, so I can just mine my way out of here. And continue the video. Yay! Okay, so, um, it's supposed to do a lot of damage to, like, the ground, as you have seen. It digs pretty fast, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so let's put those back. And the next weapon of the day is the flail, which is crafted with two string, two sticks, and a material of your choice out of these, the normal ones. And I believe you right-click... Oh no, if the flare follows you around, so if we go into F5 view, it just kind of like follows you, and then when you right click, boom, it gets shot. So, eh, okay, so if I have it here, I can just throw it at them and it hurts them. And with the diamond one, oops, wrong button, the diamond one is just like one hit kill, boom, boom, boom. And yeah, that's pretty much all that happens with it. Uh, Every swing lowers the durability, so uh, be careful when swinging. You don't want to ruin your uh, weapons on accident. So the next weapon is a javelin, and this is a thrown weapon. And you need a flint and two steel to make it. And you just right, you hold the right click button. My bad. You hold it, and you let go, and boom. So. It's pretty good. It's pretty good weapon. I mean, it takes a few hits to kill. And I don't know how much distance it has. It seems to be getting stuck there. So, let's see. Four times to kill a cow. Uh, one. Uh, I keep missing. Two. Three. Three times to kill a pig. And, yeah. I don't, I don't think his range is that good. It's, oh, no, no. Its range is actually not that bad. Yeah, I mean, I'm hitting the slimes from all the way over here, so that's pretty good. So, yeah, the javelins are quite a cool weapon, and there's a secret uh, about them that I'm going to tell you guys. If you are going down, and you throw a javelin, so... Wait, I got this right. If you throw a javelin as you go down, it gives you a critical hit. Same with going up, so if I like hold this up to the sky, hit it, and then jump it gives it gives me a critical hit or something like whichever way you're going and you if you throw a javelin that way it will give you a critical hit so that's actually really cool we do a lot of damage and the next weapon is not dynamite that's later cuz I want to do this one first uh, the next weapons are boomerangs and it can do any of these uh, normal materials and you need four oak wood planks to make them and boomerangs are pretty awesome you can throw them and they come back to the block that you hold right click to throw they will fly back and they'll come back to the block that you threw it from I think or no I can't remember the exact properties of this uh, it, it really depends sometimes they come back sometimes they don't I'm not yeah if you throw it up in the air it will come back if it hits something though it won't come back to the block it won't come back to you though so like if I throw this and move it's gonna come flying back down to the block not to me but they're pretty useful because you but I mean this isn't gonna work because the cow is closer to the ground oh it did so you just boom hit them boom miss 
but it still killed that uh that pig so it's pretty cool so yeah and i'm killing the wrong animals so we're gonna have to dynamite something else but yeah see it just comes right back to you it's pretty useful weapon so uh yeah and now for some dynamite you need two string and gunpowder to craft it it's throwable dynamite it is pretty uh useful it's half the power of tnt so if i just like throw it over there it's gonna blow up that whole chest oh no no see it's half the power half the power of tnt so you can throw it at your enemies or your friends and just piss them off and that's gonna blow up the chest oh crap okay so uh yeah you just throw it and have a good time so I need to uh, get myself a chest, so I'm going to go game mode 1, shot 765, and uh, fix this real quick because I destroyed it in the middle of the video. Lovely. So yeah, and our next weapon, what is it? Muskets. Okay, great. So uh, I need to uh, fix this real quick, so I need a musket with bayonets. Uh, sorry, sorry for the confusion. I just can't find where to make the musket ball. For some reason, I guess I didn't write it down. Oh no, here it is. This, this, and this. So iron, gunpowder, and paper makes a musket ball, or musket round, and you need that to uh make a musket with bayonet. So. Let's start over from there. So you need two iron ingots, a flint and steel to make a musket barrel, two sticks, and an oak wooden plank to make a gun stock. You put them together, you get a musket, and the musket's pretty cool. The musket and the musket bayonet is the same thing, except this one has stabbing abilities. So if you put a musket with an iron knife, you get a musket with a bayonet, and you need to make some musket rounds with these items right here, just in that order. And if you have some animals in their cage, and I'm just gonna fix that with the chest. Okay. Oh no, that's not gonna work. Uh, we have a predicament. Let me just patch that up. Okay, so if you have a cow and you want to kill it, you right click to and hold the reload, and then it will. Auto if you keep holding right click, it will automatically like aim like it is right now you can see it's stretched out and you let go and boom it shoots and it's pretty cool because so right hold right click reloads and now hold it again and it's ready to shoot so now i can just like destroy all the wildlife and i did have some zombies in here to test its destructive capabilities so let's spawn some more zombies in and see what we could do so let's see let's see how good this thing is one shot one shot that's pretty awesome and i got an iron sword cool and the bayonet will just have it let it do a lot more uh stabbing damage that's pretty much it for the musket and now i'm going to move on to another cool weapon and that is the uh crossbow let me just put these back in here first so yeah the crossbow you cra you need a bow for iron and two wooden planks this is the only version of the crossbow and you need iron ingot over a feather to make some crossbow bolts and you just same thing as shooting musket right click hold reload and keep holding and it will aim and you just shoot and bam killed so if you right click to it reloads and then let go i'm pretty it's already loaded so you don't have to hold it you could just reload and be ready and it's a uh, not one shot kill on the zombie it's two shots but i mean come on that's that's pretty awesome like a crossbow in minecraft a lot more damage and if i am correct it does i think a little bit more damage than a bow so it's pretty useful so uh it seems like we have run out of zombies so let me put some more in the cages they seem to have despawned there okay so Next up on my list is a blowgun, which is crafted with three sugar cane, just like that. And then to make poisonous darts, you need a stick, a cactus, and a feather. And the darts, uh, they will poison your enemy, but they're only weaken it to one heart of health, or half a heart of health. And it's the same exact way as shooting a musket. You just hold, reload, and I mean, it takes a few shots to kill, but 
if we just let him sit there and weaken, he'll eventually get down to half a heart, so then I can just, I don't know how long it takes, but then I can just hit him and he'll die. I mean, this guy seems to pretty much not die, so I'm not sure how useful this weapon is, but if you just want to annoy whoever you're fighting or whatever you're trying to kill, you just poison it, take out some other weapon, try to kill it. So yeah, it's not very useful, so I'm going to go grab a javelin and try to kill it with these weak weapons. Well, I mean, javelins aren't that bad, but... So let's keep on killing it. Yeah, okay. That was just to clear them up. Okay, so next I have the blunderbuss, which is an amazing gun. It's pretty much a shotgun, and the closer you are, the more damage it does. So you need four iron ingots, flint and steel, and the gun stock, if you remember how to craft that. I'm not going to show you again. And to make blunderbuss shots, you need gravel, gunpowder, and paper, just like that. And it's the same exact reloading things, but this has... And the reloading is shooting rather as a musket, but it will shoot like 10 bullets spread out So you see how it hit all of them like if I aim there Well, no If I aim right there well, he gets hit, but I was able to get a collateral So the closer you are the more damage it does. So if we just walk up here Boom it kills it really fast. So it's a really useful weapon it's pretty much like a shotgun. I have no idea what that sound was and if you heard it. If not, <laughs> don't worry about it. So two shot kill. It's pretty useful. It's like a Minecraft shotgun. Pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, so next. That's the finale. Even though it's in front. Next, I have fire rods, which is made with a torch and two sticks. And it's a one-time use weapon. And you just hit them and they get caught on fire. And if you're in game if you're in normal mode and you hit them the stick will disappear and they'll just catch on fire and burn so uh, yeah next is the training dummy which is pretty cool uh, you need wool a leather tunic two wheat and a stick to craft it and you can just place it down and it will not get destroyed from any kind of melee damage unless it falls or something else I can't remember what else it was so we're just gonna th throw a dynamite in there and see if it gets destroyed from explosion da oh wait try it again whatever okay so yeah uh and now to complete this mod review the last and final weapon is drum roll please no i'm just kidding uh the, the last and final weapon is the cannon which is crafted using four iron ingots five iron ingots my bad flint and steel and uh wood and what you're gonna do is craft it like that in the crafting table you get a cannon then you're gonna take stone smooth stone just like that and you'll get cannonballs and what you have to do is you need gunpowder in your inventory do not forget this you need gunpowder or you cannot shoot so you want to place the cannon down to mount it you want to have a cannonball in your hand and right click on the cannon to load it and you'll see we lost one cannonball and one gunpowder and then you just right click in the cannon to get in it and it, it is very glitchy, just warning you, as you can see it jumps up and down, but you just aim where you want and you click, you press the sneak button for you, in my case that's shift, and fire away, boom, look at the damage on that. And you can just look back down with the cannonball and press it again and fire again, and you can just keep doing that. So, uh, hold on, let me make sure it's loaded, okay, it's loaded, and boom. The destructive power in this is pretty cool. And um, now, so that's it for this uh, mod review. But there's more, don't worry. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to destroy that. I forgot how to get out. You just right click away, I think. Or did I left click? I don't know. No, yeah, you just right click when you're in it with nothing in your hand. Alright, so now I'm going to show you a pretty cool texture pack, which is called. S S I don't know how to say it. It's like Sfax, S B A H X. Pure BD Craft, which is a texture pack specifically for this to make uh, this mod to make all the weapons look way cooler. But I do warn you, that's uh, I was trying this out earlier and it made boomerangs like not like boomerangs don't exist with this. Uh, they're invisible with this texture pack. So I don't know if he's gonna fix that or not. Whoever made this uh, texture pack, but uh, yeah. So if I go down here. As you can see, all the weapons look way cooler. It's just 
awesome. Like it's, it makes it way more fun to play, more like a medieval game. Oh, sorry. I was like a burp slash hiccup slash voice raise. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I've got my cannon, and we're gonna go blow up a village. I think it's this way. Yeah, it's right over there. With this awesome texture pack. So, uh, credit to the guy who made it. It's pretty awesome. Pretty kicking texture pack. So, yeah, we're just gonna load the cannon up. Get in the cannon. And fire. Oh, wait. You have to wait a few seconds for it to load. And then you can just shoot away. Ooh, and look what I have uncovered. It's a chest. Maybe there'll be diamonds in it. Oh, no. That's lame. Blow it up now. So, I'm just gonna place another one because I can. And wait a few seconds for it to load and just shoot. Once it's loaded, boom, another chest. What? And wait a few seconds and fire. Yeah. So, um, this mod is pretty cool. And once again, it is called the Balkans. Balkans, my bad. Balkans weapon mod. And it's a lot of fun. I can see. I can uh, see how it'd be so much fun to play around in uh, survival. Just takes a lot of resources, but it's well worth it. So um, thank you for watching my mod review, and I really appreciate you stopping by to see my video. And if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like what I make with my videos, please subscribe as it helps, and it makes lets me know that people like what I'm doing. So uh, thank you, and bye.